Hello and welcome to this T24 Log100 basic setup tutorial. I'm Tom Lilly and I'll be guiding you through the process. The aim of this tutorial is to show setting up of Log100 with three T24 transmitters and then displaying them in a couple of different ways, both displaying them individually with a peak hold and also summed to one display channel. Here we have the three modules, which have already been set up as described in our simple pairing and calibration video, which is also available on our YouTube channel. To view data from them, we need them all on the same radio channel and to know their data tags. All of our modules come from the factory with the data tag set as the last four characters of the module's ID. This can be changed if required via the T24 toolkit. Right, let's make a start. First, we open Log100 and start a new project. Click Edit, then Preferences to change some of the general display options, evaluation rate, and switch the warning or limit sounds on or off. It may be worth switching some of these options off if you are using a lot of channels and your computer is struggling to keep up. Now we look at our individual project. Click Edit, then Configure Project. Now we see the configuration window. There is useful tooltip help throughout this window. Along the top, we select the base station type and give the project a name. If you want the modules to stay awake whilst Log100 is running, tick the Keep Awake box. As we're using a USB base station, we cannot change the COM port or board rate. The radio channel must be set to the same as the modules that are being monitored. When using multiple base stations, it will be necessary to enter the address here, otherwise the default should be 1. Here, we select the number of displays. We're going to use 8 for this tutorial. Now we'll set up the channels. Click on the display channel, and then click in the boxes to edit it. For channel 1, we put the required data tag in triangular brackets in the data field. We'll leave everything else alone. I'll just enter the data tags for channels 2 and 3. For display channel 4, we are going to reference channel 1 by putting the channel number in triangular brackets. This is simpler than entering the data tag every time. We also put in a peak capture function. I'll just do a similar thing for channels 5 and 6. Now we can set up a total sum function for all the devices. Copy this channel to the next and then put a peak hold for the total as well. I'm now going to set some warnings on the total channel. As we're only interested in whole batteries for this tutorial, I'm going to set the format resolution to zero decimal places on all channels. Now that we're happy with the channel setup, we can return to the display screen by clicking OK. Before we can see any data, we need to wake the modules here. We can see that channel 1 has a low battery but is still functioning. We can keep an eye on that. Now we can use the devices to show various weights. Here we see 1, 2 and 3 weights and the displays for them. Also note the peak displays when the weights are removed. We have now come to the end of this tutorial and hope that you have found it useful. For further information on the T24 range and other products, please see our website at mantracourt.com.